Hello everybody and welcome to DIY Tuesday. We are super excited to have you here with us today. Um, we are going to be doing some really awesome self-care recipes for you all. These are really good for anybody who just needs to take a little bit of time to just chill. I know we don't have a lot of time like that, especially nowadays, you know, when everybody's going, but these are some time, this is just going to be for some time that you want to take out of your day to just kind of chill. Um, so we're just going to be doing two recipes today. Both of them are from the Essential Life book, and I have really exciting news for you guys. The Essential Life book is going to start shipping next week. So it is going to be here at the end of this week, and it'll start shipping at the beginning of next. So we're really excited for that, and we cannot wait for you to get your books. If you haven't already, make sure that you're pre-ordering those because it is going to be amazing. There are a lot of, there's a lot of hard work and revisions that went into this new third edition so we're really excited for you guys to get that. If you don't know where to look, it's on our website at oillife.com and you can just search Essential Life and it's the pre-order with the darker green binding. You'll see the book on there. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, these recipes are gonna be on, the, on a different page probably in the new edition coming out, but for the second edition, this is what page they're on. So we're gonna go ahead and start with a tea recipe. Now this is kind of like an overindulgence kind of tea. So if you eat too much um, or you're really just like whatever you ate isn't really sitting well with you, this is going to help with the bloating and just that overall like yucky feeling that kind of goes on. So what we're going to do is we are going to have, we're going to take 10 drops of wild orange and you're going to want to put like probably about a cup of water in beforehand, um, a cup of hot water probably because I mean you can do it hot or cold, it's up to you. Um, so we're going to do 10 drops of wild orange and then two drops of peppermint we're going to do five of lemon and then two of ginger and what some of these oils are gonna do is they're gonna help just kind of soothe your stomach and especially the ginger is gonna help with that bloating. Um, and then we have three drops of coriander. So it's just gonna help with that bloating and um, the peppermint is really good for that uneasy feeling that you get. Um, and then after you're done with this, after you have all your oils in here with your water, what you're gonna do is you have the option, you can either do a tablespoon of honey or you cannot. It just depends on what your flavor is. If you want it sweeter, that's totally fine. A tablespoon of honey is really all you need, but you can do more or less and you can use agave in place of that. So that's our first recipe. It is really good. It'll help soothe your stomach and just make you feel a lot better, um, especially after, you know, eating. This is usually good, especially around the holidays, but even now, um, you know, just maybe with like stress eating or, you know, whatever is happening. Um, it's a really good one. So, and it smells amazing. Um, so that's this recipe that is on page 404 of the second edition essential life book. And then next recipe that we're going to be doing is one of my personal favorites. It is the bubble bath recipe and that's from page 407. Um, this one smells really good as well, but we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to make it. So what I have here is my, I have a pretty large bowl because what you're going to want to do is you want, um, so you want one and a half cups of Castile soap. So I have this right here in this jug. So we're going to do one and a half cups. This is going to help with those bubbles, you know. So let's do this. Perfect. And then you're going to want two tablespoons of the vegetable glycerin. So that is, we actually sell this here at Oil Life. You can get it online on our website. It's glycerin and that's spelled G-L-Y-C-E-R-I-N. There's no E at the end. I totally thought there was. Um, but um, it's available on our website. This is, I believe, an eight ounce bottle. Um, I think it might even be 10 ounces, but it's awesome. It's vegetable based. And so we are going to do two I'm sorry, yeah, two tablespoons of this glycerin that has a little thing in it. So there we go. 
if this is broken, you don't probably want to use it on your first time. So um, let's go ahead and take off this little sticky thing. There we go. Perfect. That's how you know it's fresh. Okay, perfect. So then we're going to add the two tablespoons of vegetable glycerin, and it is going to be a little bit more of like a, I don't know, it's like a maple syrup texture. It's kind of cool. Um, so you're going to add two tablespoons of that. This just looks cool. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then you're going to do half a tablespoon of white sugar. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and grab that right here. Okay, that's about half a tablespoon. So we're going to add that in here. Perfect. Okay, then we're going to mix it. I'm going to mix it with my tablespoon measure because we don't have a fork. So we're just going to go ahead and mix this. And you want to mix it until the sugar has kind of dissolved. Um, so we're just going to mix this really quick. Um, it does take a while. You are going to get the, um, you're going to get the soapy bubbles that start, um, but you're just going to want to mix this until it kind of gets clear again. And then we will add our oils. Okay, so now we're going to want to add, so this calls for a little bit different than what we're going to do today, just for the sake of time because it calls for 30 drops of cedar wood. We're just gonna do 10, but it does call for 30. Um, so we're gonna do, we're gonna say there are 30 drops of cedar wood. Um, and it is a little bit of a thicker oil, so it does take a while to come out. Um, so that's why we're not gonna do all 30 in this video. Wow, it is taking a really long time. Okay, perfect. So then after we do our 30 drops of cedar wood, we're going to do 10, I'm sorry, 20 drops of clary sage. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna do 20. Again, we're gonna do 10 just for the sake of time. Perfect. Okay, and then we're going to do 10 drops of ylang ylang. And I actually had to Google how you pronounce this word because I, for the life of me, like I have heard so many different sayings of this word. Um, I've heard like lang lang, elong elong. So it's elang elang, I guess it's what Google told me. So I don't know if you've heard another pronunciation of this word, take it up with Google. I don't know. <laughs> um, so we're going to do 10 drops of elang elang. nine, 10. I feel like it gets really like quiet and awkward when I'm putting the drops in and I'm not saying anything. So I'm just going to count with it. Um, and then we're going to do six drops of patchouli. So we're going to take this and we're going to do six drops. If it ever comes out of the bottle. Again, this is one of the slower oils, um, but we are going to put all six drops in here because it's not something crazy like 30. Um, but this is a really good like, um, Kind of especially with the patchouli and the ylang ylang, it's kind of like a sensual bath, bubble bath kind of thing. So it's really good for Valentine's Day. Um, and once we have all of these in here, because that oil is going to kind of go to the top, we're just going to mix it a little bit. Um, it does get a little bit cloudy when you mix it with everything else, just because of those chemical reactions um, happening. And then we're going to pour it into this lovely oval bottle. So this is an eight ounce oval bottle. You can find them on our website. They are super awesome for bubble baths, um, any massage oil, um, workout oil, anything like that. Um, and we're actually gonna pour this into here because we lost our funnel and I'm really sad about it. Um, and I'm gonna actually take this, I'm gonna pour it over here so that we don't make a mess just in case we spill. Because everybody knows I'm notorious for spilling things. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and pour this right in here. And just like anything else that you have a liquid, any liquid mixture with essential oils in it, make sure that you shake this before each use, um, just so that, because those oils tend to 
settle at the top. So I'm not going to pour all of this in here. You are going to probably have a little bit extra left over. Um, go ahead and give yourself a bath with the rest of it. Um, and there, it's super easy to store. Make sure it's stored upright. You just don't want it to leak out of the top. But there's your bubble bath, and it's kind of a cool color. Like, I don't know, it's like a honey color, and I really like it. Um, and feel free to put a label on it, um, any of our cute labels from our lookbooks or anything that you want to, feel free to embellish the bottle and make it look pretty. Um, but those are our two recipes for today. So again, we have our um, kind of bloating tea. Um, so that's gonna help kind of soothe your stomach if you're watching this video live. You can go back as soon as this is over and check that out. Um, and then we have our bubble bath recipe. So this bubble bath recipe is from page 407 of the Essential Life book and the tea recipe is from page 403. Um, now these are from, again, the second edition of the Essential Life book. If you weren't with us for the first portion of the video, this book is coming at the end of this week. So it'll start shipping at the beginning of next week. It's the third edition that's coming. And I know you guys have been waiting a long time for it and we're really excited. So we cannot wait for you all to get it and to see all of the magic that is inside. And we are so grateful that you guys could join us for this week of DIY Tuesday. We will see you on Friday for some awesome fun. Bring yoga mats if you're gonna do it along with us because we will have Ostie Atkinson here doing a live yoga, mini yoga session. And um, so that'll be really fun. We're really excited for that. And thank you for joining us for DIY Tuesday and we will see you on Friday.